Bollum's Auction House in London. Inside, the finishing touches are being put to a display to a very special man. These are the medals and other precious items that used to belong to Captain Eric Winkle Brown. His family have taken the decision to auction the late flyer's possessions with the hope that others will get to enjoy and learn from them. John Millenstead is head of medals and coins. Eric Winkle Brown, where do I start? What a fascinating man. Uh, for me, it's been a, a great privilege to catalogue uh, and offer this lot for sale. Um, a tremendous history over many decades, which is likely to be unrepeatable. Unrepeatable because the man himself is likely unrepeatable. One of the items for sale, a certificate showing he flew 487 different types of aircraft, more than anyone else ever. The logbooks, also part of the auction, list the names of the aeroplanes and when they were flown. Eric Winkle Brown began flying in the 1930s. In an interview last year, he told Kate Jabot about joining the military. I went to Edinburgh University to mm. take a degree in modern languages. Mm -hmm. And um, they had a university air squadron, so I joined that. So I learned to fly under the aegis of the RAF, mm -hmm. which pleased my father at that time. But very early on, the Navy lost an aircraft carrier mm -hmm. in the Irish Sea, and many of their pilots were killed, so they were short. And they put up a notice saying, would pilots like to volunteer? Mm -hmm. That's how I got into the fleet air. For sale at the auction, medals including his 1970 CBE, Distinguished Service Cross and Air Force Cross. Also photographs, some signed of his pioneering work landing jets on aircraft carriers. It's a bit like playing Russian roulette. Um, there are so many variables involved. There's wind speed, whether the sea's rough, the carrier's are moving. Um, all sorts of things like that. And you can't ask the carrier for help because he'll give away the position of the ship. We'll have a number of uh, what I would consider my high profile collectors uh, who yeah, they love all this sort of uh, collectible uh, material. The, the archive, as I said, is complete. Um, so it's, it, it's ideal for anybody who wants a, a complete archive. And the history, uh, I mean, the, everybody knows Eric Winkle Brown. There's so many TV documentaries on him. You can say, well, look, look at this. this. This is fantastic. Uh, if it doesn't get bought by a private collector, then I can see it going to a museum, uh, which would be ideal, and everybody can see it in the future. I mean, it's not your place to express who it should go to, but I think most people would want a museum, wouldn't they? I think 99% of people would want it to, to, to go into a museum. Uh, it's, there's lots, lots to be discovered uh, from his logbooks uh, and sort of further research to be done and it, it would be a shame for it to be lost to the nation. It certainly was an odd feeling looking through those artefacts and, and that's what they are now but until recently they were the memories of a man expressed in metal and on paper but sadly with Captain Brown's passing they now must find a new home and that home will be decided on the 23rd of November when they're auctioned here. Tim Cooper, Forces News in Knightsbridge.